So networking has been extremely valuable for my career. Um, and I think um, when I was an undergrad, if I had said that I was going to be in a career where I had to do a lot of networking and connecting with people, that would have been pretty terrifying, actually. So I pictured it as like having to hand out my business card and shake people's hands, and that's not really what it is. Um, it's really just building connections um, to people in your field and in other fields. It's very good to be a person that connects uh, people to other people. Like I make it a point when I work with, um, when I was in graduate school and I was uh, in, and I didn't really know this, I think, when I was an undergraduate, but, um, you know, I always say it explicitly, hey guys, if you ever need anything, if there's ever anyone I can introduce you to, like, I would be happy to facilitate that. Because you, you might be asking yourself, like, oh, why, why does that, how does that benefit me? Um, I'll tell you that there are people who I have introduced to other people, they've gotten jobs as a result of that introduction. Um, and even if they haven't gotten jobs, from that point forward, that person is going to be nice. The word networking is such a buzzword too that, you know, what does networking really mean? To me, it means going to a place because other people are going to be there that share common interests with you and learning about that, their view on that interest, sharing your view and, um, and building a strong connection and figuring out how you can help each other. It's building communities. I mean, networking, community building go hand in hand to me. If you're going to a networking event, it's probably because you care about more than just your cause and you want to be a part of a larger whole. Um, so go put yourself out there, be, be outgoing, ask questions, make eye contact, shake hands with people, introduce yourself at, you know, for who you are and, and listen a lot, ask a lot of questions of other people and find out um, how you can add value to their life or their idea or their, their whatever. Yeah, so I think the importance of, of networking with professionals is kind of multi-fold. <laughs> um, number one, you can gain mentors uh, in that way. Um, I think if you're you know, interested in a, a particular field or um, let's say you're interested in a particular science, but you're not even sure you know, where you want to go within that. Um, talking to other professionals can help you to see kind of where someone else um, has taken their career, how they've you know, aligned the kind of various stepping stones to bring them where they are right now, um, can give you an example of, to, you know, to potentially follow. And oftentimes they'll have great advice for you know, how they got into their career or um, managed to get whatever job opportunities that they had. The tools and techniques I've used to further my career, uh, actually a lot of it is, is networking and joining societies. I got involved in, so in several societies early on. It opened up a lot of opportunities for me, not only in terms of meeting uh, senior people who uh, could provide me with a broader education in geology than I had currently, uh, but also in meeting folks that later on I would end up working with on various projects or who could provide me with opportunities as a as a consultant. So I think one of the keys is actually getting involved in societies. As far as networking and um, maybe being a little bit more A-type and and uh, getting getting out there and, and really taking uh, a chance, I think I think I'm just authentically like that and I, I I, I'm not trying to do this a lot of times to get anywhere. Like I, I just thoroughly enjoy uh, meeting people and finding out what they do, how they frame it, hearing stories. I love stories. And I, I just find that fascinating. And the more I talk to everyone, the more I, I realize that a lot of people are this way. And, and a lot of people might just be shy about it. And, and the, the, the caution I have there is sometimes people network for networking's sake, and it comes across as disingenuous. So um, I, I, I really emphasize building relationships and building a mentor-mentee relationship with whether it's somebody a few years older than you in the industry, or a professor, or some, somebody who, someone in HR who might be able to point you to new opportunities. And what I mean by developing relationships is genuinely taking an interest in someone's background and experiences and actually asking engaging questions that are associated with that, not just pinging them out of the blue, like, hi, I'm so-and-so, let's, let's add each other for, for no specific reason. And 
the, the really value added there is, I, when I've talked to somebody who is maybe 10 years older than me, and they're in their 30s, and they, they can relate to me, looking back as a recent college graduate, Badgers are extremely open and happy to just talk about their, their careers and their, and their backgrounds.